Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a computer mouse that doesn't work. I'll be going over how to fix it easily in this simplistic tutorial. Let's get right into the video. I will be outlining six specific things that you should try first in order to hopefully fix your computer mouse that is not working, okay? I've been in this situation a few times where the mouse stops working and one or the other of these things will work for me. They have worked in the past. I primarily work on a laptop now, so I use a touchpad. It's just connected all the time. It always works. Um, and I'll, I mean, maybe one day it will work, but it's not going to be, it's going to be because of the touchpad itself, not because of the mouse, right? So it's a little bit different for me now, but when I did work with the mouse all the time, every once in a while there would be a problem and one of these things fixed that problem. Let's get right into those six things to try first, okay? Number one, try a different port on the computer, okay? So try a different port on the computer. You want to, maybe, you know, maybe the port stopped working. I mentioned in another video that my USB port on my old computer literally just stopped working one day out of the blue and I just never fixed it. So these things happen, try a different port. As an added bonus to that tip, try your mouse on a different computer. This way you know if it was your actual computer or the mouse. If the mouse works on a different computer, then you know the mouse still works and it's maybe your computer or how it's connected to your computer. Just helps you narrow it down a little bit more. Number two, the second thing to try out is to replace the batteries if it's a wireless mouse. If it's a wireless mouse, even if you think the battery or batteries are good, replace them anyways. Batteries are inexpensive and it's a really quick and easy way to try and see if that's a problem. Get a brand new battery, because this one takes one battery. Get a brand new battery and put it in there and see if it works. If your mouse takes two batteries, go for it. Three, four, five, 10, 20 batteries, whatever the case is. I don't think that's the case, but if it is the case, replace the battery or batteries and see if that helps. So number three, look at the condition of the mouse sensor. Now, the mouse sensor is on the bottom here <clears throat> on this one, which is a Logitech M305 mouse. I loved it because it was so small. I had a very small laptop, very small mouse. It was just so portable. I could literally fit this in the side pocket pocket of my laptop bag and the receiver is also so small so I just leave it plugged into the laptop it was so convenient I love this mouse if I didn't use a laptop now I would use this if I didn't use like only my laptop right but totally a great mouse in my opinion so then this, this sensor is a laser sensor over here you want to look at the condition is it dirty right obviously make sure that the mouse is off so pull the batteries out and switch or switch it off right so I'd switch it's switched off right now there's no batteries in this anyways um but look and see if the condition of the lens on the laser is good to go right? Um, and if it's a rubber ball mouse, which I don't think is going to be the case, but if you use a rubber ball mouse, then maybe you want to upgrade to a laser mouse. I'm just joking. Uh, if you use a rubber ball mouse, look at the condition of the rubber ball. Sometimes there's dirt, debris stuck in there. You might want to clean it out, okay? And like I said, make sure the mouse is off so the laser's off because you don't want to have to worry about a laser. Um, like, you know, you don't want to have to worry about it being on when you're trying to diagnose it. Just get a little microfiber cloth and just clean that little sensor, right? Takes two seconds. See if that helps out, okay? Number four, did you recently update your computer? So, if you recently updated your computer or your operating system, sometimes that causes things to stop working. If you literally updated your operating system or computer and then now your mouse doesn't work, that's probably the culprit. You're gonna have to dig deeper, but at least you know where to start. Number five, does it work occasionally? If your mouse works occasionally and then stops working on occasion, then most likely it's going to be either a range issue if it's a wireless mouse, right? Or the cord, if it's a corded mouse, the cord is not going to be in good condition. Maybe there's a little bit of a break somewhere along the cord line, okay? Um, or your batteries are running low if it's a wireless mouse. Sometimes they sort of stop working on occasion when the batteries are running low. Couple things you want to consider. But if, it's, if it works occasionally, then at least you know where to start for diagnosing it. Lastly, number six, it's probably the easiest thing to do. It will rarely fix a problem, but sometimes it will. This actually has worked for me in the past a couple of times. Restart the computer. Sometimes there's a glitch happening. Your computer might be frozen without you even knowing it, right? Maybe the keyboard is not frozen, so the keyboard works, and maybe the software is not frozen, but maybe your mouse driver is somehow frozen, right? Or maybe the connection between the mouse and the computer is frozen. So just restart the computer. It takes a couple seconds. Restart the computer. You can even do like a force restart. You know, there's different ways to do that. Uh, I think with most computers, if you hold down the power button, it'll turn off the computer and then you can turn it back on. You will lose anything that you're working on though, so be aware if you've sort of forced restart a computer like that. Um, you know, like a hard restart, you're just, 
you're going to lose whatever you're working on. So just be aware of that, right? Um, you can restart the computer. Alternatively, as a bonus tip, you can wait it out. Sometimes instead of restarting the computer, waiting five minutes, 10 minutes, will just the mouse will just start working again because whatever was frozen will be unfrozen. So just some things to keep in mind and try out. And that's basically it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.